my fresh project here called tooldip.js um, in which I'm going to go ahead and run yarn init hyphen hyphen yes which will generate a sample package JSON with all the defaults. Now I'm going to go ahead and install Babel in this repository which will allow us to transpile whatever code I'll write into a browser friendly version. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install Babel core, Babel CLI and Babel preset env from here. So yarn add minus t, Babel CLI, Babel core and Babel preset env. Now note that I'm installing them as the dev dependency of the project because we don't want to ship these transpilers as a part of the library. They are the mere tools which will help us build the library and compile it and transpile it to be a browser friendly version. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install them as a dev dependency. Now once I have that in place, uh, I need to make sure that whatever code I'm writing gets transpiled into a browser friendly version. So I'm going to create the source directory which will contain the index.js file which will have the entire source code of the library. So uh, just to test the build setup, I'm going to go ahead and write some ES6 here which is just basically a const variable. I just want to make sure that this, this const variable get transpiled into a var um, when I run Babel, uh, when I run it through Babel. All right, so hello world. Now I want to make sure that this thing gets transpiled into var hello world. For that, I need to set up the scripts in my package JSON and I need to make sure that whenever I run build Babel uh, picks up my SRC folder and runs transpilation over it and create a new folder for it for the transpilation to be stored at and it should be called as lib. Now I also want to make sure when I publish this package on the npm um, all the packages installing all the projects installing this package pick up uh, the source from lib which is a transpiled version of whatever thing I'll be coding. Now um, there's one missing part here that I have told Babel to transpile it but I haven't given any configuration for Babel to run the transpilation with. So I'm going to go ahead and create a Babel RC file. So if, if you've if you're already been building projects on frontend and have been working with Babel Webpack, you should know what a Babel RC, RCGS file should look like. Now since we're going to use um, Babel 7, um, we will use Babel ENV to transpile our code to the last two versions of the browser that are out there. So I think uh, this, this should help us get started. If I just export module.exports presets. Now this will make sure that whatever I'll pass um, has gets transpiled via React, Babel React and Babel preset env. Um, and it is compatible with the last two versions of the browsers. Um, at this point, I want to add Babel React as well. So yarn add minus t, Babel reset React. Um, we are specifically choosing Babel 7 for this process. We can always try Babel 6 as well. So there is uh, no uh, setup difference uh, as such. You just have to install different dependencies and install set up different dependencies here. So uh, I think I have everything in place. So if I just go ahead and run yarn build, yep, it created a lib folder which contains var hello world. So notice that I was I had written const hello world and now it is in strict mode with var hello world. So uh, this makes sure that my Babel transpilation process is working properly and um, I think going forward we can set up some code writing rules, code management rules for the repository now that we have the build setup in place. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.